hello thank you so much for clicking on my video welcome to my channel lovely moments creating if this is your first time here consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering that notification bell so you will be reminded when I upload a video my name is Jenny and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you 10 beautiful lemon decor DIYs. These DIYs were simple and easy to create and I cannot wait to style these in my kitchen. So if you want to see how I created these, keep watching. Jumping into the first DIY, what I'm going to be using from the Dollar Tree, I have one of these pretty shaped little vases. These are actually one of my favorite vases from the Dollar Tree. I have this little half round foam piece. I'm going to be using some of this buffalo check fabric from the Dollar Tree. Now they do have other prints. This is a really pretty lemon print but as you know I love buffalo check and from Hobby Lobby they had these really pretty lemon picks. I love the stem on these and these were 50% off so I got those for a dollar and 99 cent what I'm doing first is just removing the tags because I want to combine these two picks together so I'm just going to cut one of them down and hot glue it to the other stem I'm just trying to see where I'm going to place it I'm just going to add a little hot glue because I will be adding some jute cord to help support them as well this is really simple, but I think it's so pretty and it had a nice high-end look to it. So once I get that done, I'm going to take that half foam and I'm going to place it right in the vase with the um, round part facing down. And then I'm going to take my stem and just push it right in the center of the foam. Now it was pretty sturdy, but I am going to go in and just add a little extra hot glue so it won't fall over or anything like that. Once I get that complete, I am going to take that fabric. Now I'm going to cut some of this fabric down because I do not need the whole sheet. So I'm just going to cut a sheet of the fabric and then this is how much I cut off so now what I'm going to do is take the little vase sit it sit it right in the center and I'm just going to gather the fabric up covering up the bottom of the stem now what I'm going to do is take some jute cord to tie the fabric together Once I get it tied together, I am just going to wrap a few rows of jute cord around. And then I'm going to end up creating a little basic jute cord bow. And I am going to wrap that around the base of this as well. I think this is such a really pretty lemon tree to style in the kitchen. I absolutely think it's beautiful. Moving right along to my next DIY, I just printed uh, fresh lemonade and a really simple and easy recipe. I have one of these little lemon tags. It's two in a pack and I picked this up from Hobby Lobby for $1.99. I have one of these Buffalo check scrap paper sheets from Hobby Lobby and this frame was $2.97 at Walmart. The Dollar Tree does have frames but I wanted something a little bit more sturdier and doable. So what I'm going to do is just remove the back and the paper out of this picture frame. I'm going to take the back of this frame to measure out how much I need to cut from this buffalo check sheet. Now I'm just going to trace it using my pencil and then I'll get my scissors to cut it out. Once I have that complete, what I'm going to do is cut down the sheet that I printed where I type the recipe. And I'm just going to measure how much I want to cut down by placing it right where I want it on the sheet. And then I'm going to take my um, 
paper cutter to do that because I cannot cut straight with the scissors. I'm going to cut it down at the top and cut a little bit off the sides. Then I'm going to take my glue stick and just go over the sheet and I'm just going to place it closer to the bottom of my other sheet. Now I'm going to cut this little lemon tag in half and I'm going to add some glue to the back of it and place it right at the top of my recipe. After I get that done, I'm going to take this sheet and just add it back to the frame. I think this is so cute. That's why I went with this frame because the Dollar Tree frame, I would have had to paint it because they're usually not the colors I like. And I just think this gave it a little bit more high-end look. I absolutely love this. I think it's perfect for the kitchen. Now for my next DIY, I picked up this lemon sugared candle from Walmart and this candle was I believe less than $3 and I'm going to be using one of these little chalkboard stickers and I do get this pack from the Dollar Tree and I have some small buffalo check ribbon for 99 cent that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to take one of these labels. I already poured off the original label that was on the candle. And so I'm just going to add this one in place of that. Then I'm going to take my chalk marker from the Dollar Tree and just write the word lemon. After I get that complete, I'm going to take that buffalo check and just hot glue it right to the top of this candle. I think adding a scented candle to your decor for your fruit theme is so easy and so cute because they have apple candles at Walmart, cranberry, pumpkin, just all kind of scents. And I think it was perfect that this is a lemon scented candle and it's a lemon kitchen theme. And moving along to the next DIY. Now, how cute is this little bicycle that Target put out in their little dollar spot for $5? I had to pick this up. So I'm gonna be using this. And from Hobby Lobby, I picked this small bag of lemons up for $3. It was 50% off. And I'm gonna be using this little chalkboard pick that I got out of, out of a pack from um, Dollar Tree <laughs> I couldn't remember and so all I'm doing is pulling off the little pick and I'm just going to write on this little chalkboard um, fresh lemons and then what I'm going to do is take some hot glue and just hot glue that right in the front just where you will have a little basket on a bicycle now I have this moss that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place this right in the little basket to give this some filler so I won't have to add so many of my lemons and then I'm just going to take a few of the lemons and just pile them right on top of the moss. Then after I get that complete, I am going to take a few pieces of my greenery that I poured off a Walmart pick and just add a few pieces around the lemons and that will be it i think this is so cute i absolutely love how simple and cute this turned out Now for my next DIY from Hobby Lobby, I picked up this really unique, cute wreath. Now it was on clearance for $2.99. I actually picked up two of these. Now what I'm going to be using along with this is one of these little wood planks out of the six pack from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some more of that buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to be using one of these little lemons. I don't know which size, but I am going to cut it in half. Now, what I'm going to do first is use some white 
chalk paint and paint over this little wood piece now I went to my Cricut you can use stickers for this but I just went to my Cricut and printed the word lemons and I got it out of the image design space and it had a little border around it as you can see and I'm just going to place that right over my little wood piece now I did sand it down first as you've seen just to make sure that I brought back some of that natural color and that it was smooth so once I get that transfer it over I am going to take my little exacto knife and cut one of those little lemons in half now they made out of foam so they are pretty easy to cut Now I left a little bit more space on one side of the word because I'm going to add a little greenery and just glue down this one half lemon but the other one I'm going to have it slanted a little bit so I needed a little bit more space on that side. Once I get that complete I'm just using that ribbon to tie a really simple basic bow. After I get that complete I'm going to add that little sign right in the center of the wreath and I am just going to use some hot glue to tack that down. Now I'm just trimming the tails of this little bow that I made. And then after I get that complete, I'm going to add my little sign. Now I'm just adding some hot glue here and there to see exactly where it connects because this wreath is shaped a little funny. So I have to continue to add a little more glue to make sure that everything is secured and then I'm just going to add my little bow right under the word and that is it for this I think this is really pretty I love the nature of the wreath and the lemons blended I just think this is really cute and I think it looks great and I cannot wait to style this piece in my kitchen So for my next DIY from Walmart, I picked up this five pack of wooden utensils for a little bit over $5. The Dollar Tree have utensils, but this was a better deal. I'm also going to be using some of this Buffalo Check Lemon Ribbon that I picked up for $3 at Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm using my white chalk paint to paint both of these utensils. Every time I make kitchen decor, I always like to style wooden utensils. I think they just really look great when you change them up. And so I'm just going to go in with some sandpaper that I pick up from the Dollar Tree and really sand over these pieces. I want to bring in that natural color to get that really deep farmhouse look to them. So I'm going to do both of them the same way, making sure that I continue to I see a lot of that natural wood color. Once I get that complete, this is how they turn out. I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the center of these utensils. I'm just going to add some hot glue to tack down the first piece and then I'm just going to wrap it around and then add some more hot glue. Now I did pull out a few pieces of greenery because after I get the ribbon on both of my utensils, I am going to add some of that greenery. So now what I'm going to do is just tack down some of this greenery using that hot glue and I'm just gonna add it right above the ribbon and just adding enough till I feel like it's full enough. And I'm gonna do that to both of them. Then after I get that complete, I am going to use some buff, some, um, I'm sorry, some jute cord. And I am going to tie two little basic bows and just hot glue them right in the center of the greenery. And that will be it for these. I think they are super cute and a great addition to the lemon decor.
So moving on to the next DIY from the Dollar Tree, I have one of these cute little jars with the straws and it has the little buffalo check lid. Also from Walmart, I picked up some of these yellow flexible straws and these were less than $2 I believe. And I'm going to be using some more of those lemons and I have some of this clear glue from Walmart. Now I cut another one of those small lemons in half and I'm just placing them down in the jar i don't want the foam part to be showing so i'm placing them face down and then i'm going to take that clear glue and just pour it right on top as i pour it those pieces are going to float to the top but the foam will be facing down so you will not be able to see it i'm just creating a little jar of lemon lemonade basically so after i get that complete all of this is going to settle and dry i'm going to switch out that straw for one of these yellow straws and i'm going to make sure i place the straw inside of the glue where i want it because eventually all of this is going to dry i think this was really cute and i absolutely love it Now moving along to my next DIY. I love this picture that they sell at Walmart. They look pretty good. They look like glass, but they're actually plastic and they're $3 and some change. I have these larger lemons from Hobby Lobby that I paid $6 for, which is a good buy because there are six lemons in there. And I have these really pretty eucalyptic picks from Walmart for $1.28. All I'm doing is just creating a centerpiece using that picture and I'm just going to add in those greeneries and just add these lemons around them and that is it. I think this is just perfect for a lemon themed kitchen. Now moving on to my next DIY from the Dollar Tree. I have one of these small little craft jars with the buffalo check lid. I'm going to be using two more of those small lemons from Hobby Lobby and another one of those chalkboard um, stickers from the Dollar Tree. I'm just removing that label from the craft jar and then I'm only going to add two of those small lemons inside of the jar. I'm going to add the label and just write on the label. 25 cents each and i just think that's a little cute little way to display some lemons and that will be it i think it came out really cute and it fits in with the decor thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video i hope you enjoyed today's video just as much as i did if so please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel because i would love to have you here as always in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.